some people, the naysayers and atheists and people want to criticize the Bible, a lot of, a lot of times people will claim that, oh yeah, this, this whole religion about Jesus just came up like after he died and that's not really what Jesus was teaching, but like his disciples just took things really far and they just kind of built up this whole religion after him and, and turned it into something that it wasn't when Jesus was around. You know, people will make up all kinds of stories to try to just cast shade on the Bible and why you shouldn't believe in, oh, it's just these men that made this up. But look, the Gospel of John, it, it, clearly John believes this, but it's clear also that Jesus taught this. Because he's quoting Jesus Christ in his teachings. And it's like, look, these are the guys that were with him. They know what Jesus was teaching. And, and think about that too. Like, like what a better witness. I've witnessed this just personally in my own life with people who preach the Bible. You'll, you know, there's some people who might hear things that are taught. They'll hear little, little snippets and, they'll, and they'll, they'll hear this or that or something. They'll hear through the grapevine, maybe through someone said. And then a lot of times people like to just make things up. Or, or extrapolate and then just start making all this other judgment on that person, then what is even true? But those who are actually there and are actually eyewitnesses and are actually part of that minute, you know, you know much more fully what's true than those who just are kind of on the outside and they hear something here and there. And this is common, especially within the new IB movement. There's so many people online, on the internet, they live all over the world. They just kind of hear different things. They might hear a sermon here or hear this other thing there or read something, some post or some blog or some news article or, or whatever and think they know the whole story. It's like, you don't know it at all. Like, why don't you find out from the people who are actually there and eyewitnesses and, and are involved what the truth actually is? And if you're interested in the truth, that's what you'll do, right? And not just believe everything you, you, you hear or see from other people, just as uh, people trying to cast shade on, like, oh, Jesus didn't say, like, no, he did. And that's why, like, all of his disciples and his apostles are saying this is what he taught. And they all believed this and were willing to die for it. They didn't have some advantage. They weren't trying to milk people for their money. They, they were martyred. I mean, they lost their lives for the cause of Christ. Their life was not bettered, physically speaking, by serving Christ and making the claim that he was God. Like, what is the motivation for these men when you know how their life was lived and we have a record of what happened to them and the persecution that they faced and the, the being ostracized by the world at large? And even like the Apostle Paul is writing about all the things he went through. Like, look, I was shipwrecked. I was in perils among false brethren. I was in perils in the sea. And, you know, like, like all of the things that he went through. Why? It was all for the cause of Christ and just preaching this truth. He wasn't getting financial gain. He was working as well as ministering the word. You know, he, this should show you that it's not about uh, us, any other motivation than these people fully, completely believed all of this stuff to be true. So people want to try to tell you otherwise, that's just false. I mean, this is a, a powerful witness coming from the people who were with Christ. They handled him. They ate with him. They were, were taught directly by him and know what was being said and what was being taught and then continued with those teachings and continued um, to, to bring forth that truth.